this is why we shouldn't just go anywhere we shouldn't just be anywhere and we definitely shouldn't just go to any church and and when it comes to your spiritual walk in churches I would highly suggest pray if I should be here. Now, in the meantime, when you're looking, yeah, it's okay to go to different churches. But in a year's time, it shouldn't take a year to get and find a church home. And what I mean by church home is find a church that will be your home for a while. People don't leave their houses every year and have a different house every year. Usually they stay a few years before they just up and leave. I'm talking about houses, not apartments. Mortgage, not rent. But you stay a few years before you just leave. And when you leave, it's because you done grew out of it or uh, God allowed you to get to something that's better and more suitable for you and your family or for you. That's the same with churches. If you're leaving a church every so often, let's say every few months, every year, you had a different church and those churches were good churches. It usually lines up with your natural life. Your natural life is kind of all over the place. One minute you're up, one minute you're down. One minute you got it together, one minute you don't. You have to get some stability in your life. And it does help when you have stability in your spiritual life. You can stay under a leadership without getting offended or finding faults or finding reasons why you need to leave. Because like I said, sometimes somewhere is not what you want, but it's what you need. Especially if you grew up in an environment where you didn't have a mom, a father, or you didn't have correction, or you basically raised yourself. Having somebody tell you, you know, this is not okay. Maybe you need to delete that message. Maybe you shouldn't be saying that. Won't always easily be something that you take in well because you're so used to at an early age being on your own and making your own decisions. But sometimes you got to look at, well, maybe that's why I made a lot of immature decisions because I didn't have somebody who knew better to help me do better. Accountability, being able to say, you know what, I need the help. And I'm willing to take advice, whether I like it or not, if it's going to help me do better. So let's talk about what Jesus said. Y'all go to Mark 16, 15. This is Jesus talk. Go into the world and preach the gospel to all creations. Whosoever believes and is baptized will be saved. But whosoever does not believe will be condemned. I'm going to jump to 18 because it's important. They will pick up snakes with their hands, and when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them. They will place their hands on sick people, and they will get well. Jesus was talking about believers, not just pastors, preachers, apostles. He said believers. Yes, believers can lay hands. 